Starter has the horses. Skate is moving in the opening dash here tonight. Six of them. Nick Way Sierra. Alchie's Flame. Farmer Man. Just Buy Me a Rose. Arcan and Bluff some more. Behind the gate. Six of them. Opening dash. Tartan Downs. Here comes the 16th card of the uh, 2002 season. And uh, they're off and racing now. And here they go. Nick Way Sierra leaves out for the early lead. Up on the outside is Just Buy Me a Rose. Looking for second on the inside is Alchie's Flame. They drive around the turn. That's uh, Nick Way Sierra making a break. Nick Way Sierra has made a break. And Just Buy Me a Rose now off to the lead. Alchie's Flame is uh, racing second. Back pacing again. Nick Way Sierra down the backside they go. Bluff some more on the outside. He is moving up now to be three. Then Farmer Man and uh, Arcan. Into the paddock turn they go, and uh, bluff some more on the outside. Is now challenging Just Buy Me a Rose for the lead, but she'll duck in as Just Buy Me a Rose. Opens up again, bluff some more second. Nick Way Sierra is racing the third. Then that is Alchie's Flame, followed by Farmer Man. Off the turn, Arcan. 31 and 2, opening quarter, and there is an inquiry. Please hold all tickets in inquiry into the opening dash here tonight. Joe Campbell has just by me a rose off the lead. Bluff some more, sits second. Nick Way Sierra is third as they race around the bottom turn and head towards the backside. Just by me a rose in 102 and two fifths. On their way up the backside. Just by me a rose. Bluff some more, second. Nick Way Sierra is third. Farmer Man moves on the outside now for four. Into the paddock turn. Farmer Man takes over three. And Bluff some more has gone off stride. Into the paddock turn they go. It's just by me a rose. Farmer Man second. Then racing third. That is Arcan. Nick Way Sierra. Al Chief's Flame and Bluff some more. 134 and 1 fifth was the three quarters off the turn. Just by me a rose and Joe Campbell are cruising to the wire. Farmer Man is up for second and uh, Arcan will be third. Starter has the horses and the gate is moving in the second. It'll be Heartbreak's Best, Gwen's Robbie, Crystal Vision, Carol's Dream Boy, Mystique Killeen, Nick Way Dakota from the outside, then Calder Hill Jeff and another Norma's son. Eight starters, second race. Here they come. Top of the stretch, race number two is now moving. Here they are. They're off and racing on the inside. Heartbreak's best on the outside. That is Carol's Dream Boy driving into the turn. Up on the outside is Mystique Killeen. And then Gwen's Robbie holds four. Racing five on the inside is Calder Hill Jeff, then Crystal Vision. Another enormous son and Nick Way Dakota. Down they go to the quarter, and Carol's Dream Boy has made it off the lead. Heartbreak's best is up racing second. Mystique Colleen is racing three. Gwen Zwabi pulls four. Calder Hill Jeff is racing up out of five. Crystal Vision can see it from six. Another enormous son, and at the back of the pack, it's Nick Way Dakota. They're into the turn after the opening uh, panel of 31 and one-fifth seconds. From the top of the turn, they're strung out, single file, on their way to the half. And uh, the first to move is Calder Hill Jeff. He comes up on the outside, and Crystal Vision. He flushes out uh, Mystique Colleen at the half. Crystal Vision will follow the cover of Calder Hill Jeff. Bottom turn, and Carol's Dream Boy. Mystique Colleen up on the outside, on the inside Heartbreak Express. 
Then Calder Hill Jeff outside, Gwen's Robbie, Crystal Vision, another Norma Sun, Nick Way, Dakota. The half wild, 103 and 3. Down the backside, three quarters. And Carol's Dream Boy. Heartbreak's best second. Mystique Colleen is third. Calder Hill Jeff four. Racing along the rail, Gwen's Robbie is five. Crystal Vision six outside. Paddock turn. And it is Carol's Dream Boy. Calder Hill Jeff second outside. Crystal Vision up on the outside. 134 and 150 three quarters. On their way home, and Carol's Dream Boy is on his way to the winner's circle. Carol's Dream Boy to win it. Crystal Vision on the outside will be second, and Calder Hill Jeff is third. Gwen's Robbie fourth. Starter has the horses, gate is moving in the third, Crystal Ice, then Woodmere Hillary, Harry's Behaven, Little Marion, Heather Hall, Hustling On, Kill Karen Padre, seven starters, top of the stretch, here comes race number three tonight. And racing on the inside, Crystal Ice drives up, hustling on, and Heather Hall drives up and showering there of the fenders, I think. Crystal Ice has made a break around the turn. Heads up, folks. Crystal Ice made the break. And uh, there's an inquiry into the dash now. Inquiry into the dash takes Harry's behaving out of the race as Heather Hall drives on to the lead. Heather Hall up front. On the outside, Hustling On is up second. On the inside, that's Kill Karen Padre. Then Woodmere Hillary outside, followed around the turn by Little Marion. Then Harry's Behaven and Crystal Ice. 30 seconds, 30 and 2 actually, to the opening quarter. And there is an inquiry, so hold all tickets. Hold all tickets. Upcoming the halfway mark here, Heather Hall and Kevin Bailey up front with Kilcairn Padre for second. Woodmere Hillary is third and uh, racing from four, that's uh, Little Marion. Hustling on is five, then that is uh, Harry's Behaven and Crystal Ice. Bottom turn they go, Heather Hall. Had him down past the half in 102 and two fifths. Up to the three quarters. Heather Hall with Kilcairn Padre second. Then racing three, Woodmere Hillary. From four, that's Little Marion. Holding five is hustling on. Six, Harry's Behaven and uh, Crystal Ice. Into the paddock turn. And up front, it's Heather Hall running away with it, 133. And two to the three quarters, off the top turn. Heather Hall is on her way to the winner's spot here tonight. In a battle is for second, Kill Karen Padre, then Woodmere Hillary and Little Marion. Right down to the wire, Heather Hall wins it. Woodmere Hillary second, Little Marion is third. The gate is moving now in the fourth race tonight. Fourth race. Moves behind the gate. Carolyn's buddy, JT Jate, Rev Majik. Then Casimir Bar Patrol, truthful takeover. Let's travel again. Carol's June Bug. There behind the gate in the fourth. Seven of them now in tonight's fourth.
Top of the stretch. Here comes race four now. They're on their way through the lane. They're off and racing and as JT Jate leaves with the lead up on the outside is Rev Majik as they drive around the turn. That's JT Jate. Rev Majik on the inside is uh, racing now second. Truthful takeover up on the outside. On the inside driving around the turn. Heading down the backside on their way to the quarter. That's uh, with the Carol's June bug. Then Truthful takeover. Let's travel again on the outside. Moves on up. Rev Majik and then it is Casimir Bar Patrol into the paddock turn. JT Jake with the lead. Let's travel again on the outside. Quickly moves up now to be second. Rev Majik is holding third. Then Carol's June Bug is four. Truthful takeover five. 30 and one was the opening quarter. And they're on their way towards the half. With the lead up front, that's JT Jake. Let's travel again. Has come up now to be second. Rev Majik is third. Then there's a gap to uh, <coughs> Carol's Junebug. On the outside is Truthful Takeover, followed by Casimir Bar Patrol, and then uh, Carolyn's Buddy. Round the turn, it is the uh, JT Jate. Let's travel again. Is second, the half in a minute flat. Down the backside, three quarters. JT Jate. Let's travel again. Second, Carol. Racing third is Rev Majik, then Truthful Takeover. At the three quarters, it's two horse race. JT Jake, let's travel again second. Rev Majik is third, Truthful Takeover fourth. Into the paddock turn they go. JT Jake, let's travel again, is right there second. One thirty and two, three quarters. Off the top turn, it's JT Jake. Let's travel again on the outsides, coming on up. Let's travel again on the outside. We'll come on and win it here, and let's travel again. He'll have a good mark on him tonight. Outbreak. HG's Caitlin, Chelsea's Helen, Fernhill Joy, History Buff. Casimir Talk Patrol, Roman Line Road, Race Me Nightlight, and Charlene's Girl. Behind the gate, there's eight starters. Here they come. They're off and racing, and the history buff on the outside looks to the early lead. History buff, Fernhill Joy up racing second. H.G.'s Caitlin is third. Driving round the turn. It's History Buff with Fernhill Joy second. H.G.'s Caitlin races third. Charlene's Girl, four along the rail. Casimir Talk Patrol is five. Roman Line Road, six outside. Chelsea's Helen is seventh. And Race Be Nightlight from the back of the pack. Into the paddock turn they go first time. History Buff, Randy Ghetto set off the lead with Fernhill Joy second. H.G.'s Caitlin is third. Then the two-year-old Charlene's girl races from four. Casimir Talk Patrol is five. 30 and one, the opening quarter. Back of the pack, here comes Race Me Nightlight. History buff down at the halfway mark. Charlene's girl on the outside moves on up. But Fernhill Joy moves out, and Charlene's girl gets the cover there. Casimir Talk Patrol, H.G.'s Caitlin. Then Race Me Nightlight. Roman Line Road, Chelsea's Helen, bottom turn. And History Buff still up front. Racing second outside, Fern Hill Joy. The half, 101 and three. 
Down the backside, three quarters. Fernhill Joy on the outside. History Buff on the inside. Charlene's Girl is racing three. Casimir Talk Patrol is four. Race me Nightlight, trying to get in gear in five. Into the paddock turn. Fernhill Joy outside. History Buff on the inside with Charlene's Girl racing three. Chelsea's make that on the outside. That's Race Me Nightlight. And off the top turn after a three quarters of one, 32 and three. They're on their way home with Fern Hill Joy. Charlene's Girl second on the outside. Driving down to the wire, Fern Hill Joy will win it. Charlene's Girl is up for second. Starter has the horses. The gate is moving in the sixth. Dianza, Euripides, R.S. Lewis, making it big. Linkage, Hillview, Fred. Six of them behind the gate in the sixth tonight. From the upper turn, here they come. Here off in racing, making it big in Nyanza. Jostle for the early lead into the turn. Euripides goes in along the inside to race three. Round the turn. Nyanza on the inside. Up on the outside, making it big. On the inside three, that's Euripides. R.S. Lewis is holding fourth. Then down the backside, racing five, Linkage. And at the quarter trailing is Hillview Fred. Making it big, and Nyanza are going at it up front. Making it big outside, Nyanza on the inside. And uh, Nyanza takes back the lead, the quarter in 30 seconds flat. 30 seconds off the turn towards the halfway mark. It's Nyanza making it big races two, Euripides is three, R.S. Lewis four. Len Linkage is racing five, Hillview Fred six. They arrive at the half. Here's R.S. Lewis up on the outside now. And following that cover is Linkage. Round the turn. Nyanza still with the lead. With R.S. Lewis second outside the half in a minute flat. It is R.S. Lewis showing with the lead down the backside. Nyanza second outside. Making it big moves out to go. Three Euripides up on the inside is four. Then uh, racing up five. Here comes Hillview Fred. Linkage is six into the turn. R.S. Lewis is opened up by four lengths. Nyanza second. Hillview Fred's three on the far outside. Now second on the outside. 130 and three to the three quarters. R.S. Lewis heads them on home through the lane. Driving down the lane. R.S. Lewis still with the lead. Hillview Fred is closing, but R.S. Lewis will win it. Hillview Fred second, Euripides third, Nyanza will be fourth. Carter has the horses, the gate is moving in the eighth. Arden Quincy means to an end. General Finesse, Velvet Burner, Louisiana Brew, Rosina's Road, then Scoot and Hussey and Fluke. Entries now from the top of the turn. Here comes race 
number seven, race seven, moves to the lane. They're off in racing Arden Quincy on the inside. Rosina's Road up on the outside. Challenges round the turn. Velvet Burner is up there as well. On the inside means to an end. Down to the eighth. Arden Quincy inside. Rosina's Road on the outside is second. And Rosina's Road now with the lead down the backside. Arden Quincy races two. Means to an end is three. Velvet Burner four. Then the Scootin' Hussey. Holding five down the backside, they go. Fluke is holding six. Racing up seven is Louisiana Brew. And around the turn, General Finesse. As they move off the top turn and head towards the halfway mark, the leader up front is Rosina's Road. Island Quincy racing from second. Means to an end is three. Then holding uh, four, that is Velvet Burner. Up on the outside, though, here comes Fluke. To the bottom turn they go. And your leader, after a quarter of 29 and three-fifths, is Rosina's Road. Rosina's Road. Still Island Quincy second. And that's Fluke on the outside, now three. Now he takes over second. Scootin' Hussey up on the outside. Means to an end on the inside at the three quarters. Rosina's Road with Fluke on the outside. Island Quincy inside and three. Scootin' Hussey on the outside. Into the turn they go. The half was 101. It's still Rosina's Road. Fluke on the outside. Second Island Quincy now tips out to go. Off the top turn. It is Scootin' Hussey for four. Rosina's Road on the way home. Fluke second, Island Quincy on the outside. They're driving down to the wire. It's Rosina's Road. Fluke is closing. We'll need a photo for win. Looks like Rosina's Road, but we'll need a photo for win here in the seventh. Here comes race eight now, through the lane. They're off and racing and hopes first maiden gets the first call off the gate. CL's payday up on the outside second. He's a 10, drives up from the outside as well. First turn, it's hopes first maiden. He's a 10, will take the two spot. Heading down the backside, he's a 10. Ducks in for two, CL's payday is three. Initial shock he is holding down fourth, then in line to five. It is not enough luck. Into the turn they go, and uh, Hope's first maiden on the lead for Bob Campbell. Now taps the brakes as they move into the paddock turn. He's a 10, a second. That's CL's payday for third. Initial shock is holding fourth. Not enough luck. He is racing five, and then JB's Magic is the sixth one off the turn with Wampum Express from uh, seventh, driving on uh, to the lane, and that's Canadian Made at the back. Arriving at the half, and it is Hope's first maiden. He's a 10 second, CL's payday is third. Not enough luck, starts up on the outside. That gets the cover of JB's Magic as they move around the bottom turn. The opening quarter was 31 seconds flat. Heading around the bottom turn, and Hope's first maiden. Quickly up on the outside, CL's payday, 103 and three uh, to the half, and CL's payday to take over the lead. He's a 10 on the outside now, moves up to be second into the paddock turn. Hope's first.
first, Maiden fighting back for third. JB's Magic is four outside. Into the paddock turn they go. 134 and three, three quarters. It's CL's payday. Off the turn, driving home. CL's payday. Hope's first maiden back in again on the inside. He's a 10 on the outside. Driving right down to the wire. CL's payday to win it. He's a 10 is second. And then it's JB's magic. CL's payday in 205 and two fifths. Winning here the eighth. And the starter has the horses. Gate is moving in race number nine. It'll be Jake Way, Windy Bay Caroline, Delmar Pilgrim, Mr. Beachy, then Fernhill Nitro, not so bad, and Starlight Nickway. Seven of them behind the gate. Race number seven. Top of the stretch. Here comes race number nine now through the lane. They're all lined up behind the gate. Here they go. Dombar Pilgrim leaves on the inside. Jateway, not so bad up on the outside. Windy Bay Caroline tries to drop in the hole, but Starlight Nickway closes that. Round the turn they go. Jateway with the lead. Up on the outside, second Dombar Pilgrim. With Starlight Nickway, three along the rail. Windy Bay Caroline is four along the rail, then not so bad, five. And Mr. Beachy holding uh, sixth. As they move down the backside, Fernhill Nitro is seventh at the quarter. And now Randy Ghetto clears with Dom Mar Pilgrim on the lead. Jateway second. Starlight Nickway is third. Windy Bay Caroline is holding down fourth. 29 and three was the opening quarter on their way to the half and Dunmar Pilgrim now by two and a half up front Jateway sits second Starlight Nickway is third Windy Bay Caroline is fourth not so bad is racing five as Windy Bay Caroline now gets to the outside the bottom turn they go and up front it's still Dunmar Pilgrim Windy Bay Caroline second on the outside and they're down to the half in a minute. One minute flat through the backside. Three quarters next. Windy Bay Caroline on the outside. Trying to stick a nose out in front. Donmar Pilgrim is still on the lead on the inside. Then not so bad as three outside. Jake Way four along the rail. Into the paddock turn they go. It's Donmar Pilgrim. Windy Bay Caroline second. Not so bad. Third outside. Jake Way fourth along the rail. On the far outside, Fern Hill Nitro, 132, three quarters. Home they come. Don Mar Pilgrim is leading them on home. Windy Bay Caroline closing up on the outside, and Windy Bay Caroline wins it. Junior has just won the Stanley Cup. One in four fifth seconds. 203 flat, number two, Windy Bay Caroline in the ninth.
And the starter has the horses. Gate is moving in the 10th. Don Mar Paul, Rhonda's fella, JM Buddy, Lazarus, then table damage and Ken Devella. In the 10th, there's six of them now behind the gate. They're moving on up and moving on in. Top of the stretch, here they come. They're off and racing. J.M. Buddy leaves out. So does Don Marpal on the inside and Lazarus into the turn. Don Marpal on the inside. Jersey Buddy up on the outside is second. Off stride, Lazarus. Lazarus has gone to a break. Rhonda's fella is racing three. Down the backside they go to the quarter now. And your leader, Don Marpal. Rhonda's fella, second on the inside. J.M. Buddy is three outside. Table damage moves up now to close the hole, and that leaves J.M. Buddy stuck on the outside. Into the turn. It is with the lead. Don Marpal. Rhonda's fella, second. J.M. Buddy had a back right on up as he got parked. 29 seconds down to the quarter. They're on their way to the half. And the lead up front, Don Marpal. Rhonda's fella sits second. Lazarus pacing back up on the outside. Table damage grabs on in three. Lazarus four outside now. Kendra Vella, J.M. Buddy. Bottom turn they go. And Don Marpal and Lazarus one, two round the turn. Rhonda's fella sitting there in three. Table damage is racing four. Kendra Vella five. J.M. Buddy six. The half in 101. Down the backside they go. Don Marpal, Lazarus second outside. Rhonda's fella sits on the doorstep right there in three. Table damage is four. Kendra Vella moves five. Six is J.M. Buddy into the paddock turn and Don Marpal, Lazarus still second outside. Look at Kendra Vella pacing quickly on the outside. He's now up to three. Now the two at one thirty-two three quarters. They're off the top turn. Don Marpal is asked to step it up. Rhonda's fella second. Ken Devella on the far outside. Table damage gets down the inside. Right to the wire. It'll be Don Marpal to win it. Table damage second. Rhonda's fella is third. Race 11 now moves behind the gate. Starter has the horses paying in person. Triby Jacqueline, West River Haley, Charlotte Zara, Dusty Lane Laura, Powerfold, and All Hearts Abe. Seven of them behind the gate, race 11. Upper turn, race 11. Here they come. They're off and pacing, and Triby Jacqueline gets first called off the gate. On the inside, driving up all heart Abe, as well as Dusty Lane Laura. Into the first turn they go, Triby Jacqueline with the lead. all heart Abe, second on the outside. Racing on the inside, third. That is paying in person. Down the backside towards the quarter, now all heart Abe takes the lead from Triby Jacqueline. All heart Abe with the lead. Try B. Jacqueline second. Paying in person races three. Powerful follows along in four. Into the turn. Charlotte Zara is next in line as they move around the turn. And Greg Sparling's fronting with all heart Abe. 29 and three. They were down to the quarter. Halfway mark will be upcoming. With all heart, Abe up front. Try B. Jacqueline sitting second. Paying in person is third. On the outside now, here comes Charlotte Zara. West River Haley follows on the outside. That gets powerful out to follow as well. 
And Dusty Lane Laura can see them all back of the pack. To the bottom turn they go, and up front, it's Charlotte Zara. All heart Abe second on the inside. One, oh, two. They're down to the half. Through the backside, Charlotte Zara has now taken over the lead. West River Haley second outside. Powerful following three. All heart Abe is four. Then uh, into the turn five is Try B. Jacklin. It's still Charlotte Zara. West River Haley second on the outside. Power fold is third. Tribe Jacqueline fourth. All Heart Abe is fifth. Three quarters, 133. And on the outside, West River Haley comes up. But on the inside, Charlotte Zara is driving on right to the wire. Charlotte Zara to win it. Power fold is second. And West River Haley is third. Twelfth upcoming, no hood and cups for. Final chance to wager race 12. Here they come, Scotty Dude, Jay Finesse, tongue in cheek, quite a fighter, NS Empress, Dunn Donald, then double Corona and Polar Go Easy. Race 12 through the lane, here they come. Scotty Dude on the inside, first to get a call off the gate, tongue in cheek up on the outside, second, double Corona on the inside, drives up. Quite a fighter is four round the turn they go and scotty dude up front with the lead tongue and cheek on the outside but double corona moves up on the inside down the backside quite a fighter closes off the hole that keeps tongue and cheek parked outside now he finds the wood it is scotty dude leading up front double corona second then tongue and cheek is third quite a fighter races four racing five round the turns polar go easy into the turn they go, and the leader still up front, Scotty Dude, 30 seconds flat, 30 seconds off the turn. And Double Corona sits right there in second with tongue and cheek for three. Quite a fighter holds four, Polar Go Easy is five, racing a six, that's Jay Finesse. Then seventh is NS Empress, and at the back of the pack, Dun Donald. Bottom turn they go. Second and final time. And Scotty Dude, he's where he wants to be. 101 and 2. They were down past the half. Scotty Dude through the backside. Tongue and cheek will challenge outside. S on the inside for third. That is double corona. Up to the three quarters. Scotty Dude on the inside. Tongue and cheek on the outside. Moves on up. Round the turn and tongue and cheek now assumes the lead. Tongue and cheek, Scotty Dude second. Double Corona is three outside. 132 and one to the three quarters. Off the top turn, tongue and cheek is on the lead heading home with double Corona second outside. Scotty Dude is third right down to the wire and tongue and cheek will be a winner. Double Corona second and Scotty Dude is third.